the audio CD of Dune that I listened to was narrated by George Liddell with the chapter headings of the Princess Irulan read by Davina Porter. Um, this particular audio uh, version was uh, released by Borders Audio Books um, in conjunction with Recorded Books, uh, the company. Um, there is a more readily available version of Dune um, read by Scott Britton. And I am highly impressed with Scott's reading abilities, and especially with him capturing Dune the way he does. Because um, he does read quite a few, um, if not all of um, the Dune books at this point in time. But um, I haven't heard Scott read Dune itself, so I can't judge on that. I will say the version I listen to with George Waddell reading is phenomenal. Um, it was the only version available when I purchased it several years ago and it cost $80 I believe at Borders, uh, Walden Books actually at the time. And um, it's worth every penny. I've listened to it so many times at this point. I love it. Um, and it's really, George Waddell does a fantastic job of the, um, you know, the characters and just the way he reads is just very entertaining and you really get a good feel of the, the story itself. It is unabridged and what I do like about it is that um, at the end there is a note uh, prior to the appendix that um, appendices um, that Brian Herbert was consulted on the pronunciations of the words and the terms and I feel that that was really quite good to have that you know in there that way you know this is how things are supposed to be pronounced if they're coming from the son of the author himself they have to be correct, and, you know, as far as I'm concerned. So I, I love it. I love the way it was done. And as you can find that version, that's a plus. If not, you're just as good, in my opinion, with the Scott Brick Red version. Scott, as I said, has an amazing reading voice, does great work with the other Dune novels I've listened to. And um, he just captures the characters quite well. So um, cheers, Scott. You know, if you ever see this video, <laughs> um, or any of these for that matter. Um, moving on to another uh, version of Dune, um, the Sci Fi Channel miniseries. Um, I would highly recommend watching this after you've seen the Lynch movie and after you have read the book. Simply because the directors in this particular case took a bit more creative liberty, in my opinion, than... I think they should have, and it's long, so, I mean, they didn't have to make these little, insert these little scenes that weren't in the book and try and create plots that aren't there. Um, there's just things that bother me. Now, that said, it is... A great presentation because it is very long and it's very detailed it does have more in it, in it than the Lynch film does because of its length um, 
my gripes with it uh, are in terms of it veering away a bit too much from the book in certain aspects. Um, even visually, the costumes were better in the first, in the movie, in the David Lynch film. The acting was better in the David Lynch film. Uh, the casting was better in the David Lynch film. Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot to be said for the, the initial film release. Um, there has been talk of possibly a Dune remake. Um, Brian Herbert has come out and said that he and Kevin J. Anderson, his writing partner on the Dune novels, um, the current Dune novels, um, they would like to see the House series uh, put into a movie um, which takes place prior to Frank Herbert's Dune. Uh, I intend to cover the house series in a separate video. Um, but there's no confirmation at this point um, in terms of another movie being made. So, what do I rate Dune as a book, as a story, as an audio CD? I would rate the book itself a 10 out of 10. It is phenomenal. And it has every element that you would want in a story. The audio presentation um, by Borders Audio um, and Recorded Books, I would give a 9 out of 10. Because it is recorded very well, the sound quality is excellent. The only gripe I have, and this is going to be consistent, I have a feeling, with audiobooks, when you put them in your computer and, and, and then you go to read them or listen to them in Windows Media Player, they don't register properly what they should be and or they um, are mislabeled. They aren't all labeled the same. So you'll get one that says for the artist that they'll have Doom. Um, the next one you'll have Frank Herbert. The next one you'll have, you know, George Liddell or Scott Brick. You know, it varies from disc to disc what it'll come up with. And then the numbers on the discs are all, always askew. So I go through myself and label them on my computer. And that way I have the audio CDs on my shelf intact. And I have my listing material on the computer at hands reach where it's perfectly labeled and organized. So if you're going to put things on your computer with these audiobooks, you're going to have to do a little work on that and, and make it more complete yourself. That's the only thing I'm going to say on that. Uh, and please keep watching my channel, subscribe, and you will be interested, I hope, in watching more of my book reviews slash audiobook reviews. I will not always be covering um, a multimedia um, event such as movies and books in one review because there was so much with Dune I had no choice in my opinion. Um, if there is a uh, TV show adaption of a book that I review I will touch on that as well. But mainly this is for books only and the audio CDs that I listen to of the books. Have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are, and take care. Bye.